Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that this is actually like my third video post in the last 24 hours. I know, strange, right? Well, I'm just trying to get back into it and really get this info out. And so if you haven't seen my two previous videos that I just posted, I'll put the links to both at the end of this video and down in the video description. So be sure to check them out. A lot of strange stuff happening around the world and this story is no different. The image that you're looking at here is of, well, footprints of some sort that were discovered way down on the deep sea floor. As if something was actually walking along the bottom of the ocean. And so according to this report here, which I'll link down below, starts out Southampton, United Kingdom, at the bottom of the Pacific Deep. A diving robot has discovered a series of enigmatic footprints that cannot be explained geologically. For this reason, marine biologists now assume that the patterns come from large creatures. But no known marine animal seems to fit as an explanation. The report goes on, according to Lay Marsh of the University of Southampton's National Oceanography Center, the Royal Society Open Science Journal reports that the imprints are in the Pacific Clarion Clipperton zone between Mexico and Hawaii and in an area licensed for deep sea mining. Here, an exploratory diving robot came across more than 3,500 of the average footprints nearly 2.5 meters long and about 13 inches deep. The sonar images show that these prints are not randomly distributed and slightly curved tracks form as the researchers around Marsh, quote, already remember a series of footprints. One lane, therefore, consists of about 21, quote, trunks, which are between 6 and 13 meters apart. And although the prints are apparently different in age, it seems to act on traces of recent times. And here you guys are seeing a close-up image of two of these footprints in the deep sea bed. And again, while there is no geological process that could explain these tracks, researchers assume that they must be imprints of some sort of organism or creature or something. And the problem here is that the traces in the clay sediment are found at a depth of about 4,000 meters and thus in a zone which there should actually be no creatures that can leave such large impressions. And since the only larger bottom fish living here are barely a meter tall, they are not heavy enough to leave such marks in the seabed. And so, um, yeah, this is pretty creepy to me because these footprints were found about two and a half miles down where the pressure alone would be enough to completely crush you. Furthermore, obviously, fish don't have feet. I mean, in the ocean, things swim around. And there is no creature that we know of that can leave footprints that are nearly 2.5 meters long and about 13 inches deep. Not to mention, there's almost 4,000 of the tracks scattering the bottom of the ocean over two miles down. Um, tracks this large and this deep show signs that whatever this was that is walking along the seabed, it's heavy and it's big and it is of nothing or like nothing we have seen or heard of before. And if you've been following the channel, I've been saying for years that our oceans are an eerie, mysterious, and unexplored alien world with only 10%, if that, of our oceans ever uh, having been explored by anybody, leaving 90% of the rest of the ocean totally unexplored. We have no idea what's there. Add to that the countless incidents of strange things being seen in the water from UFOs or USOs, things glowing with lights underneath the water, artificial and otherworldly-like objects seen flying up out of the water towards space and vice versa, things flying back down into the water. 
I recently posted a video talking about some of the strange sounds that have been recorded in our seas, and there's a list of these things, and each one of these sounds has a different name to it. Uh, one of them was called the bloop, one is called the whistle, there's even one called Julia. In fact, I will let you guys hear that now. Now, Julia was recorded on March 1st of 1999, and the creepy sound lasted for roughly 15 seconds, and get this, was loud enough that it could be heard by the entire Equatorial Pacific Ocean Hydrophone Array, which is basically an array of microphones that they keep under the ocean, you know, thousands of miles away, and this thing was heard basically in the entire Pacific, so give this a listen. Okay, so that was just one of these mysterious, uh, sometimes scary sounding, unexplained sounds that have come from the deep oceans that uh, really make you think, what is going on down there? What is moving down there? Now, some have said, well, some of these sounds may be icebergs or something like that, but these sounds are being heard in areas where there are no icebergs, and in some cases felt, they'll actually be like tremors after these things. Um, and they're just totally unexplained. Um, the only thing that can be said about these sounds is that there is evidence there's something very large moving around down there. Um, we've done videos on this as well. Uh, one of our most popular ones about that two mile wide spherical object that was found moving over 40 some miles zigzagging across the bottom of the ocean floor. Caught in satellite images, you're seeing that here. Now you guys tell me, what massive two mile wide circular disc shaped object do you know of that sits at the bottom of the ocean and moves from one spot to the other, uh, traversing over 40 miles across the seabed, carving out this trail behind it? What would the powers that be like us to believe this is? And could these new mystery footprints have something to do with these strange sounds? Um, you know, I'll put a link down below to a list where you can listen to each one of these mysterious ocean sounds. And you guys tell me, could this have something to do with that? Obviously, I don't know. But there are things down in our oceans that we just don't know of. We've never heard of. We've never seen. And, you know, we could be talking prehistoric animals that we had long thought since were uh, extinct. We could be talking machinery or technology or things down there that are not of this earth. There are many theories, and all of them hold a little bit of water when you look at the evidence from all of the strange cases uh, surrounding our oceans. So, yeah, with that, tell me what you think of these new enigmatic footprints. I'll put the link to this original article down below. This is definitely some creepy stuff. What is walking around the bottom of the Pacific Ocean two and a half miles down, leaving tracks 13 inches deep and over two meters wide. It, it truly is a mystery, and um, this is definitely a, just an amazing story here. So, you guys tell me what you think. As always, I am going to get back to work. I hope you guys, you know, enjoy these more rapid video posts. I'm just going to post a video whenever I see a new story. Um, some days you'll have multiple videos like today, other days maybe just one. But I hope you guys uh, appreciate this work. I love it and I appreciate all you guys. So stay tuned, check out those two other earlier videos I posted, and I will see you all back in just a bit. Stay safe, guys.